Hey everybody, welcome back to Chimera Squad. So Operation Eagle Laser, this is the main mission. Rated very difficult. We don't have a lot of breaching options, just, uh, you know, doors. And uh, projecting encounters of three. We're going out with Torque, Axiom, Blue Blood, and Terminal. I was... We just brought Terminal out last time for like a uh, terror mission type thing. And I think it was pretty valuable. I think it was pretty valuable. Uh, so we're going to bring her back in. And she did just get an upgrade too. Uh, we unlock this armor system. So when she safeguards, she gets plus one armor to whoever she safeguards. Pretty happy with that. Let's roll. The progeny raided this manufacturing plant. They're pushing in toward the production floor. It's a vending the machine on the roof. Little need for manufacturing. Wonder what brought them here. Yeah, what did bring them here? We're gonna find something weird for. Sure. First unit does plus three damage. First unit's marked till the end of the encounter. Last unit's guaranteed to land their shot. I like the plus three damage on shotguns. Yes, I do. Uh, we won't throw the smoke bomb. We'll save all of that. We'll send everybody in through here. Uh, maybe we shouldn't do it like that. Maybe we put... We put blue blood... Over here. So blue blood and then terminal. So she's guaranteed to land. That's fine. She can do like a cleanup. And then he does extra damage. I think that's cool. And he'll be marked. I'm okay with that as well. Keep behind me. Breach, breach. We just want to take a relatively high percentage oh. shot with Axiom. Okay, so 98 on the Thrall, no. Resonant, Acolyte. So this Acolyte is fine. This would be really nice. It's risky though. This is a guaranteed kill if we hit. I'm gonna, uh, you know what, let's take the risk. There's only four enemies, it's still high chances. <laughs> okay, excellent, that worked out fantastic. Next, let's go. <laughs> let's go here, this'll work just fine. So the resonant dies now anyway. And then, man, they're all all aggressive enemies here too. We're gonna take a lot of damage. Let's go Lancer shot on 100% here. And then we're guaranteed to land this last shot. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of damage that we took there. In the opening... Opening room. Yeah, okay, so this guy's toast. I'm not concerned. Now we've got this Quake. So he's f max level. Oh! Look at the AoE of this bad boy. Damage is... Destroying nearby cover. Uh, damaging nearby units. One use per mission. That's, that's cool. Huge AoE. If I go Adrenal Surge, four turn cooldown. Do I want to save that? Can I reach this guy in the back? I can. Let's do it. Good to go. We're going to do um, three psych ups. Who wants some? Ready for action. Because if we can get rid of this sorcerer, I don't care who's going next. That would be really helpful. I could go on this Acolyte, but we can likely just heal off the damage that he does. And then this guy is going to be a problem later if not dealt with. Okay, that wasn't as exceptional as I was hoping. Five to seven. I'm going to just take a psych up, see if we can get some type of disable here. 91. Oh, whoops. I should have maybe tucked back in that Every corner. Pause is filled with notes. Yeah, that was, that was a bad placement on my part. And unlucky that we didn't get anything done. We might go into Berserk, man. though. Oh, they're, they're gunning for him. Good chance, yeah, shrug it off. Is he going to lose it? There it is. Smash, smash, smash. Kraken skulls. Oh, not him. 
And we're panicked now. Okay. So when these guys die, if we're close, that's been bad for us. Look how much room he covered off all this. Oh, he's not even done? <laughs> that's insane. Because of the panic. That was a cool chain there. We can pull the... Uh, we can pull the sorcerer. That would be a kill, but... Uh, I think we just pick it up with the stock and we deal with the other guys now. Get over here. Let's bind. I guess we don't have the Dark of active. So that's nice. These guys are at 4 HP. I think I want to come up here to get the sorcerer. Headed this way. Oh, we even landed it, too. Okay. Safeguard here. Now, he's panicked, so I think we're not going to get his turn. They're both going to act, which is slightly sad. If I give cooperation to somebody... Does, who does Blue Blood see? Both. Or, who does Torque see? None. Two turn cooldown, three turn cooldown. If we push him to the bottom, that's probably enough. We take a little bit of guaranteed damage here from the, uh, from the Acolyte or whatever. Man. I feel like enemies, they just... In almost every mission that Blue Blood's on, he just tanks so much damage all the time. Now, okay, we're actually going to set up for a, a subdue here. Blue Blood has multiple shots in the Thrall. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> we could have taken we could have taken another subdue there. Oops. That's okay. We got plenty of time to get more. Nice. Okay. We're heading in a little below full health on Blue Blood for the second Am encounter. Am I missing something, or are the progeny fielding more sectoids than usual? I hadn't noticed. Maybe you have sectoids on the brain. I hate sectoid brain. It's the worst. Last unit automatically overwatches after the breach. Okay. Um, We'll save that. Going into the last mission. You know what we'll do, actually? Let's put her in first so she can heal Blue Blood, hopefully. <laughs> we could put her even higher, but I like having the disables. Only four enemies through this entrance. Okay, Brood at 82. That looks like a great option. Resonant or Acolyte. Brood it is. Nice shot. Toxic greeting. Make sure that we get the kill. There's a whole bunch of other enemies in here, though. Nice. And then he gets an overwatch. Let's see. We're going to take some damage here. Shrugged off and dodged, I guess. Good. Not a lot of cover. It's kind of like these big open grids. Okay. 
Okay, panicked. Doesn't matter though, he's dead. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this one's gonna be a little tougher. Maybe. Maybe. Locate the factory foreman, collect the evidence. Who's going next? Accolade here. If I go here, then I don't... Well, I might have range to get over there. Oh, no. Sorry, we don't have adrenal surge. It's my bad. I think we just come in here for the uh, tranquilizer kill. From the sleeper. And sleep. Ooh. Well played. What did that... Pro what is this? Is this providing cover? Is that what that is? I don't think we've seen one of those blown up before. This is the most value. Take this. We can poison two of them. Whoa, why did we get a an Overwatch shot there? That was weird. Nice, and we can still pull here. That's actually massive. I've got you. I wasn't sure we'd have the distance. That's probably like right on Don't the edge of what's possible. Okay, so he's locked down, not gonna do anything. Terminal. Uh, this thrall's dead, so I think we just come in for a for a little beat down here. We'll heal up blue blood. Need if I can get help? two of these in a row on somebody, I'd like to test That's to see I if need. that armor stacks. I feel like that might be broken, but. Another collar for the medic. Whoa! From downtown. See, he's got that same mentality with the stock, obviously. <laughs> kidding okay blue blood what's this uh no thanks this one's dead from the poison 75 on the back is actually pretty good let's take a 64 to start oh and he got it too all right then we just need the regular damage to hit Didn't even need the crits, but thanks. Hey, that guy's toast. Let's go here. We'll have the evidence because these guys are both going to be gone. And then this room, we just toss everything. It looks like he's the plant foreman. It's good work if you can get it. <laughs> that was not the time, Blue Blood. Okay, so last unit is guaranteed to land their shot. Entering through here marks your units till the end of the encounter. That kind of blows. Do we take the... Do we take the extra damage and put Axiom in last? Change, change up the formula a little bit? Guaranteed to land this shot. Okay, so Axiom, shotgun, guaranteed. Go. Don't bunch up. Throwing grenade. All right, what do we see? Resonance? Oh, so there are codex. Okay, okay. I in a way, I kind of want to see what they do. I, don't, I wonder if they split. Acolyte. Let's hit the codex. We have 100%. Toxic greeting, probably the resonant with the armor.
We're going to leave the Codex alive here. We have a guaranteed shot on anything we want. That's, that's a ton of damage back there. That's a ton of damage as well. All right. We have a lot of skills at our disposal. There's your VIP. Doesn't rescue and recover. Doesn't look like he's uh doesn't look like the codex is splitting. Hmm. Okay, so who's up? Acolyte right here. Brawl. Uh oh, down here. Okay, okay. This is a, probably a good option for us to like phase lance something. I guess that kills both of them. If I were to come down here, or even here, I wonder if I could hit all of them. I don't think so. I could probably get maybe three. I might even totally whiff on this guy. You know what? I'm going to try it. Stepping out. That one sees you. Yeah, see, the scary thing is our VIP there. Yeah, so I can only get the two. Uh, actually. Uh, oh, there we go. I can get I can get all three. Drop in the hammer. This guy still lives, but whatever. That was cool to do. From up top, it's a little different because you have the angles. It has to be on kind of the same plane to line it up easier. Time Let's grab number two face. here. This Thrall's going to act. Does he have enough to kill, uh, kill Blue Blood? I don't think so. But we are going to likely have to make moves to get down there and grab him sooner rather than later. Because the then we'll have to evac him out of here, perhaps behind us or perhaps this door. <laughs> All right. There's always next time. Let the high tech spray do its work. Let's subdue the Acolyte here. That gets us close to the uh, Foreman. And stay down. This guy dies next turn from poison. So whatever he does, we don't have to worry too much long term. I'm fine with that. This Resonant is alive, but he doesn't have to be. Let's go get the... Um, Let's go get the foreman. We'll take the uh, stock shot on this resonant. Evac, where is it? Oh, that's reinforcement door. Oh, it's way over here? Kidding? Okay, so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna I'm gonna put the VIP over here in full cover. We have the stock shot to kill this resonant. And then it's Blue Bloods and Torque's turn to deal with the others. Uh, this guy's down. Blue Blood kills him. We let go and bash, probably. Ooh, actually, that, that could be problematic. Because if this guy dies and then he panics, that could be a bit of a, an issue. I just realized that a bit too late. On the edge. Let's take a psych up here. Oh, I should have taken the extra damage. Uh, we got him anyway. Okay. But yeah, I should have done that.
Let's actually do this and see if we can trigger this early. Okay, so he's not the one that does the mental thing when he goes down, I guess. Okay, we're gonna do a uh Well, we have we have options. I, I hate to come back here. Or do I? I actually don't hate it. We could just knock him down, but I want to be moving towards the objective. So we'll try and pull him back to us. You come here. I was thinking we could also just throw poison there, but we don't have the reinforcements coming in that door. Just go to sleep. And if we wouldn't have been able to get him, we would take a little bit of damage, but everybody's mostly full health here, so it's okay. Uh, Factory Foreman's going to be out next. do a little heal here. Warman gets out. Next turn, I think almost everybody can get out. Lovely. Just thralls. We're, we're totally cool here. He'll be Come saved. On, nice. We'll evac him. Then uh, blue blood. We're gonna go single move. Rolling out. Tracking you. Team up with uh, terminal. Okay, let's go. And then terminal comes in. Actually, we can even give cooperation here. Hey, you got this. Actually, <laughs> what we could even do, we can we can we can totally get out of here on this round. Give the uh, motile inducer the torque as well. Covering ground. Get a move torque on. Torque leaves immediately. Poison Breathe spit, in. why not? And then she's out. Okay, actually that went that went really smooth. Very smooth. Seven enemies as well. I lost track, so I wasn't sure. I kind of want to see how many kills and stuff people have gotten over the course of the game. 20 intel. Cool. Uh, Renova Heights. These things are fine. Illyrium. Some credits. Their degree from the archives. I could sense the moment they were unleashed on City 31. The terror rippled out like a blast wave. I did what I could to hide as many mines as I could from the chrysalids. Told myself it was pure self-preservation. But the gratitude from those who survived. It was the first time I ever felt those emotions directed my way. Changed the way I thought about, or changed the way I thought about humans, about myself, about our future. Channel Thirty Seven retrospective, the Bugtown Massacre, which I believe happened five years ago. Well done. The progeny's We've seen a couple references to that. Is no more. All right, so we have to choose a dark event. Progeny operatives have woven their psionic energies into increased armor for their minions, or the progeny developed tactics focused on using flashbangs. Ugh. Now, flashbangs, I think, can disable our abilities, which is problematic, but armor also sucks. Armor also sucks. Because, like, even if thralls all have, like, one armor point, that's really annoying. 
I'm going to freeze the progeny finances, I think. Now we have a global financial system. City 31 requires hard currency. Fortunately, so does the progeny. We believe they're nearly out of money. Discover how they plan to replenish it. Let's do this. It might come back to bite us, but we'll see. Okay, scavenger market's open. We do have intel. Ooh. During the war, a mutant recovered, converted this assault rifle. I'm, oh, sorry. A mutant engineer converted this assault rifle for rapid distribution. A phrase we now refer to... A, a phrase we now know refers to its ammunition. Grants banish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? All right. Give me like a... Give me a situation. Until we have a global financial system. City 31 requires hard currency. Fortunately, so does the progeny. We believe they're nearly out of money. Discover how they plan to replenish it. Okay. Where's our problems? Everywhere. Pretty much. Everywhere. Nine days on this. Um, either one of these is going to increase city anarchy. This one... Gets us a free field team, which would be real nice, because we're going to have another one as well. So that would be two free field teams back to back. Or we get an epic shotgun, which we kind of already, like, we already have one. We already have one. Uh... This is giving us rapid fire that we can use once per mission. The other one, maybe it's better. I don't know, but we only have one shotgun carrier too, so. I think we take the, the field team here and let this hit. This is going to go to max. Nothing I can do about it. Might have to do like a, a red mission next. But it's one or the other, right? Three days on vigilance here. Anarchy at two. But we do have the... Um, we do have the reduction of anarchy here as well. This is back up in two turns. So I think it's okay. But essential personnel seems to be the way to go. Uh, door, vehicle, two encounters. I think, I think we take the same group. Let's actually take a look here. So Torque, 48 kills, 17 missions. Four kills on Shelter, I mean... Not really his deal. This Dazzle is quite good, though. I really like that skill. Terminal, not there for her kills, but still 17. Kills here with Cherub. Uh, Verge, nothing yet. Blue Blood, 56 kills. 51. Okay, and what's our guess here for Axiom? 34, is that it? Oh, you know what it is? Because uh, his knockdowns don't count as kills. Right. And then this guy. Should give you a tint. There you go. Okay. 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 Uh, let's take a look here at their abilities. So we still have an unlock there. He's got a lot of work to go. She has an upgrade available. He's got to be close. Verge. I'm curious to see what Blue Blood's last thing is. Same with her. And then his, of course, that Quake, which we didn't even get to use. I'm just wondering if I want to swap any of these guys. Maybe we'll swap uh, Terminal and Verge. Get Verge going again. People were saying that the unequipping all of the um, unequipping the guns, uh, like make items available, could be causing some of those bugs that people have been experiencing. So I'm just gonna remove them normally. Okay, and then in here, you can take this new impetuous spire now. So banish just means he's going to shoot everything, right? Yeah, fire to target until you run out of ammo or it dies. Banish can be only activated once per mission. So this is good, but that means we really want to keep an eye out for... Um, 
uh, this, an expanded mag, would be really, really good. We're 10 intel short of being able to buy one. We could do... Yeah, auto loader doesn't really help there. But yeah, we'll keep our eye out for that because ultimately that's what we would like to have. Lock weave. Actually don't want you to carry a breaching charge. Door and vehicle. So not going to need either of these, but... Take one of our 32 med kits now. These things just keep multiplying. I don't, I don't know why. Take the motile inducer. AP rounds. Trank rounds. Save grenade. Yeah. All right. This is good. Immunity to disorientation and stun. Now that could actually be valuable. That could be valuable with against those flashbangs, couldn't it? I think we're actually going to swap that off. Let's go here. Mock weave, mock weave. And then HP. Uh, this will swap actually too. Plated vest there. To get the armor. All right, so Torque Action, Blue Blood Virgin Moon, uh, Operation Lordly Goddess. Come